Hi guys, Zulu here and I'm going to be talking to you uh, about the RGL Mildura Land Tournament which is coming up in a week's time. Getting really excited, really pumped up and um, raring to go for that one. I'm not actually going to be competing in it, I'm uh, purely there to host and um, help hopefully make the whole event run as smooth as possible and um, ensure that everybody has a really good time. And uh, just going to do it with some Halo Reach gameplay. This is taken from uh, some uh, games I did on the MLG playlist to capture the flag on Zealot. And uh, unfortunately, it's well, whether it's unfortunate or not, um, Halo Reach may very well be replaced with Halo 3 for the tournament. Um, some of it might be unfortunate. Uh, those that want a bit of uh, nostalgia, a bit old school, um, Halo 3. Coming back isn't such a bad thing. So, yeah, so getting back to what I was here to chat about, that's the RGL Mildura Land Tournament. And uh, I suppose um, give people a bit of a um, background on on how it all happened, how it all started. Um, I ran some private lands at home back in uh, 2000, the first one was in 2000 with Halo and there was uh, seven of us guys bunched around two TVs with um, two Xboxes connected playing Halo, um, the original Halo and we thought that was absolutely awesome, uh, sharing that little uh, corner of the screen each and trying not to look at each other's section of the screen to know where each other were, was um, and then uh, a year later uh, Halo 2 came out and we managed to get eight people, eight Flag Xboxes and stolen. eight big Flag TVs um, all in the Flag one room amazingly. Dropped. Had a uh, pretty big table and it was totally chockers with those the big old CRT uh, televisions and uh, we, we ran a free-for-all competition Reset. on that Flag and uh, then I had a bit of a break um, over the next few years got married and bought a new house and um, started having kids and that and then um, it was actually around 2007 that um, met a guy um, through Halo 3 online and um, ended up playing really um, you know, every Wednesday Flag. night Reset. and um, yeah he was actually willing Flag. to make the trip from Melbourne to Mildura for a, um, a land, just a casual land, come up for a night, have some games and I got my little uh, buzz going where I wanted to ham it up a bit and make it a bit more special than that, as soon as he's making all the effort and uh, from that WGL was born, uh, which was the wannabe gamers league, a bit of a tongue-in-cheek um, thing when it comes to Major League Gaming, so yeah, sort of saying that yeah, they are the pros. We just uh, uh, jokingly want to be pros at gaming, so uh, we did that, and that that sort of went for about a year or so. Did two um, private lands under that. We had um, seven at the first one, which was unfortunate. We were trying to get um, twelve, um, but people couldn't commit, and then uh, did another one a year later, and we actually got ten. Um, which was which was good. It was progress, um, and then the final one under WGL, we um, only could manage the eight because we, this is the reason for these smaller numbers was because it was held at my house. Um, I wasn't going to welcome any a whole bunch of strangers in there, um, so it was all sort of friends only. Hence the smaller numbers. And at that point there, I thought, well, for all the effort I put in, because you know people would come along and set up in the shed and I'd have uh, you know, posters up and all sorts of things, prizes and everything like that, and put money in and um, that would pay for prizes and generally all the food and stuff for everybody, make it nice and easy um, night for people to enjoy. Um, and I thought all that effort, um, I reckon I should be doing this um, to a larger audience. So I 
um, decided I need to change the name so that people could take it seriously because yeah um, that may have taken off under wannabe gamers league but um, I thought regional Australia does not have regular lands they don't have you know, competitive format um, and yeah you, know, you can only have so much uh, game time with um, just your friends um, trying to compete online against people that you don't know and stuff and that it's time to try and build a bit of a community um, at least in in the Ramaljura my hometown um, and yes yeah, so I decided regional gamers league Let's swap out that W and um, put in an R instead and uh, we have regional gamers league and um, just tacked on Australia as well just so that people didn't think we were a regional gamers league in some other country or something like that and uh, yeah so that, and that's where it started um, we also start, uh, ran some Forza competitions as well and that's still going on strong and it's getting bigger by the year um, but yeah so more more to do with the land though um, I ran I decided to run one more LAN uh, at the start of 2012 because I didn't feel I was quite ready yet to run a public competitive LAN where you'd have a lot more people because um, you really want these events to run smoothly you don't want people getting frustrated and I sure as hell hope that doesn't happen next week we're doing everything we possibly can to avoid that um, so anyway I did a um, what I call an invitational um, which again a um, group of friends got together we had 12 people four teams of three um, and we tested out some rule settings things like that some of it's carried through to what we'll be playing next weekend but um, generally it's um, uh, a little bit different um, just to sort of stay in line with some of these larger um, esports leagues in Australia as well. So we, we did the invitation in February um, and we played Halo Black Ops, um, Halo Reach and Black Ops and uh, did a little bit of FIFA as well and it was actually great. The FIFA on that night was um, yeah, everybody really got into it. I was actually surprised at how much people got into it, especially when we only really had maybe one or two genuinely interested FIFA players um, there the rest of us were all sort of oh, we'll have a crack at it it's actually found it rather fun we did a 2v2 tournament and we thought that would be really great to see at a public land but unfortunately we haven't had that um, turnout that we've been hoping for um, so we've dropped that to a 1v1 hopefully to get just a few more people in and competing after that invitational I thought that that should be enough now. I've got a really, um, it's either now or never type thing. And uh, it has been quite a journey when I think back to the very start where um, I was trying really hard to get at least one sponsor on board. First one was Game Traders, and um, they were um, very happy to help out. So, a big thanks to those guys. I got knocked back by about probably 10 other companies. Um, that I applied for support from, um, sort of yeah, explaining that because it's a regional area, it's a lot harder to get people to um, back something like this, especially when we've never done one before. Um, and that's another thing, you know, that um, can't be uh, underestimated just how much help we've been given, considering, uh, you know, we've got nothing to show for it just yet. So, um, yeah, we've got support from the likes of McDonald's with Jura, Video Easy, um, Antisocial Collective, Surf Crew, Planet X, uh, Sudden Rush, uh, Game Traders as I mentioned, and also Harvey Norman, Wildura. <laughs> There's also Tabas Engineering who uh, will be providing um, the engraved key rings that the VIP uh, players will receive on the day and um, yeah so we've got a lot of support it's taken some time we've got there um, had a really um, good response considering it's an Xbox only land and we haven't opened it up to PS3 um, which we do have 
um, a plan Reset. in the works for that to be introduced. Um, yeah, so I've had a good turnout with uh, players and that, um, showing that it really is something that people have wanted, and uh, we hope to really deliver and um, build on this. Uh, and yeah, I suppose we've only got. Um, well, by the time you watch this video, it's probably only about uh, six days before it starts. It'll be over in a flash for sure. It's taken all this time to to plan and organise and and stuff, and then it won't take very long for it to um, all be over. Uh, but hopefully, everybody leaves wanting more, and we'll look towards uh, running another land. Hopefully, around early Feb next year. Um, where we will introduce PS3 and uh, we also will hope to introduce PC gaming as well um, at some point next year if we can. It all, all sort of comes down to the level of support because uh, running the land you need staff, volunteer staff I should point out, that uh, are willing to make sure that things stay on track and to enter results into the database and and all sorts of things and just sort of generally helping with keeping things moving which helps um, the atmosphere of the whole tournament so um, yeah as soon as you start introducing a, another platform um, that also um, needs more people to take care of it so um, yeah, but anyway, that, that, I mean, that's the plan, to, to eventually cover the three main platforms when it comes to gaming. And uh, hopefully everybody really enjoys it, um, comes on board and and, uh, and supports this initiative. Um, we can only get bigger and, and stronger and hopefully provide even better prizes, get bigger sponsorship from uh, more direct... Um, gaming companies and things like that as well. Um, we'll always be there to help support our local businesses. Um, you know, Harvey Norman have done a really great job with over a thousand dollars in prizes and giveaways and providing us with gear on the for the event to help make it um, as you know as cool as we can make it, you know, with a main stage and that for the final so people can actually spectate the games. Um, so yeah so uh, plenty of support there um, and this is just the beginning we uh, really want to see this become very successful and for a lot of other people to take note and realize that there's a lot of regional gamers out there that um, love their eSports um, there will there'll be quite a few here that have never really heard of the term or really um, gotten into this uh, scene but once they've uh, been to this land hopefully it uh, um, they do um, and really get into it and um, we start building a bigger esports scene in Australia because it is only at the beginning um, we're very small in comparison to Europe and uh, North America um, but it's on the rise there's um, a very big push and it's only been happening in the last two or three years and that's come a long way even in that space of time so I'd really like to think in another four or five years um, there's it's just a massive thing in, in Australia. I think sort of looking into the future we also want to, um, I mentioned this in a, a another video on the RGL Australia channel, you know we want to expand into regional areas such as Swan Hill and Renmark and Horsham and even go as far as Adelaide what we want to do is run a, a LAN in each area um, or at least in a general region um, and cover as many regional areas as possible and find those um, top four teams in each uh, game type um, at the end of a LAN and then bring all the top teams from say five or six LANs held during the year for a big grand final at the end um, to decide which teams the best at say Black Ops 2 or Halo 4 um, uh, for regional Australia um, and then start all over again the next year um, that's uh, one of the bigger plans that we'd like to see um, I think it's a better way to go when it comes to um, 
running lands uh, in Australia because we haven't got the population that North America and Europe have in such a small area um, that yeah we need to be able to spread ourselves a bit further and, and not demand the players to have to travel as far as the uh, events need to travel to them as much as possible and uh, hopefully it, in it creates a bit more of a following um, there's um, so much content out there in regards to uh, esports and, and gaming and that so yeah, that's um, sorry for uh, a few rants and a few um, tangents there, and apologies for my voice. Got a bit of a cold still, but um, hopefully that gives you a bit more of an idea of um, the regional gamers league, where it's come from, where we want to head, and also, of course, the the main thing is uh, the land in a week's time. So thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing hopefully a lot of you at the land. If you want to know more check out our website, Facebook page, Twitter and we'll see you next time. Bye.